Hey guys, I have a haul for you. I went to two different Goodwills in Omaha, so stick around to see what I got. Hello everybody, my name is Heather. If you are a previous subscriber, thank you for coming back to my channel. If you are new, welcome. I am a full-time reseller. I sell in sites like Poshmark, eBay, Mercari, Thread Up, The Real Real, Facebook Marketplace, Instagram, all of the places. I'm a homeschool mom of two kids, Grace and Ryan, and I am a volleyball coach. I'm a volleyball player and I love Disney. So I went to two different thrift stores today. Both of them were just like, eh, okay. Um, I was trying to look for stuff for my brother and the first store, I swear there was like three or four guy resellers looking through the men's racks. You know, after you do it for a while, you can just tell when you spot another reseller. And so I started going through them a little bit and like I was finding nothing. And then I go to the second store and one of those same guys was just leaving with some men's stuff. I'm like, Bleh. so I didn't find any men's stuff for him. Unfortunately, the women's was just okay. Um... But I did still find a few things. I'll probably go out again on Friday. Thinking about possibly garage sales. Do you guys do garage sales? Let me know down below. Um, if you like doing garage sale season for us here, we can't have it all year round because obviously I live in Iowa. So right now it's really starting to pick up and those are fun sometimes. And sometimes I can find stuff for really good deals. So let's get into what I got today. Um, I have like one big bag and three little ones. So I'll just kind of show you and I don't know, give you some information. Uh, I got some ornaments for myself. It's these really cute new Disney blown, gra blown glass ornaments. Um, I don't know if they're worth anything, but I love them so much. So I'm getting them for my tree because last year I switched up my Christmas tree to a Disney themed Christmas tree because I'm obsessed with Disney and it's basically taking over my life. <laughs> so I got that one and then I got this one, mini, and they're so cute. So those will be cool. And there was a whole bunch of these old Winnie the Pooh ones. They're super cute. So if you don't like Disney, sorry, but I'm going to show them. Because I think they're cute. And this is good timing because we are getting ready to move sometime in the near future. So what I'm starting to do in all of my rooms and my houses is going through everything and getting rid of stuff we don't use anymore or stuff we don't want and organizing things that way when we do move. Um, it'll just kind of be like organized better and easier to move. So that's all the ornaments I got. Um, all of these, one of the Pooh ones were only 98 cents and the other ones were $3.99. So really good deals. I'll have to take those right over to my storage area. I think that's all I got for myself. Every once in a while I will pick up stuff for myself, but not too often. Okay, and then also at that Goodwill I found this cabbie dress. So it's a size medium. It's black. It's got a good amount of weight to it. It's like v-neck sleeveless and then kind of a full skirt on the bottom. Um, Cabbie, if you don't know, has a tag on the inside. As long as it's not cut out. Yep. And it always has a style number. It's down there on the bottom. And that will tell you the exact name and style of the item, which is super nice to look up comps. So I don't pick up all Cabbie, but... I feel like this is a really great piece, just being basic black and like a good staple piece. Um, these were a pair of shoes. I think these are the only shoes I got. They're called Bionica, which I've never heard of. Let me know if you guys have heard of these or sold them before. Um, they look to be like a comfort walking, maybe outdoor sandal. I looked up comps and they look pretty good and these are in really good condition. So I wanted to try those and they are a size six. I got these Under Armour pants. Um, they're a size extra large, loose it says. I pretty, I don't know if they're men's or women's. I don't know, but here's what they look like. So they have the waistband and they have pockets and they're like a little bit tapered on the bottom, kind of like a jogger style. But Under Armour right here too in the back, usually they have this style number. It also says the year when it was um, made, which is nice because I kind of like to pick up newer styles for some stuff so i'll have to look it up and see if they're men's or women's either way i think the, the jogger style ones do good for me these are levi's they're the 7-eleven skinny which i've sold before in blue and they do pretty well these ones are a smaller size 24 but these ones are like a gray color so they're just a really nice wash maybe mid to high rise um really good condition pair of jeans if you see anything you like, I will put my email and my information down below and you can message me and we can work out a deal. Um, this reminds me of the Grinch, <laughs> but 
it is free people movement. And so that's what the symbol for free people movement looks like. It's almost like a little flower. And this is a size. Gosh, it's hard to read. I don't know. Okay, wow. Don't know. Looks like a, a large or extra large. It's like a really fuzzy Sherpa cow neck like pullover sweatshirt with the kangaroo pockets. I don't know why I have a hard time reading that size. I'm trying to see if it shows it down here, but I don't think so. Oh, wait, down here. U.S. medium. Okay, it's just really oversized, which if you know free people, they're always oversized. I got this is a Victoria's Secret pink bra, which I don't get all the time. Oh my gosh, it's like all tangled up. But camo does well for all kinds of stuff for me. And so I thought just this camo bra would do really good. Um, and actually new with tags here. It looks like it sold for $35 or retailed for $35. And it is a size 36B. So a little amount of padding. Um, usually these will say the style on here. It's the wear everywhere push up bra. So that'll be good. And then this is a brand. I don't know if I've ever heard of that. It says this little thing on here, Four Sisters Boutique, which I don't, no clue what that is, but, um, it says it retails for $58 and the brand is Saints and Secrets. Um, I kind of just got it because it was new with tags and I feel like it's a perfect time to be selling dresses right now. It's like a red floral dress. Um, it's got the tie around here. It's kind of like a mini dress, but it goes longer. This is hard to show what I'm sitting down. Ah, and it goes longer there. Um, anyway, I thought it was really pretty. Maybe somebody will want to wear it to a wedding or something like that. Hopefully everybody is getting back to normal life. I saw the CDC is now allowing us to go outside without a mask, guys. So, yeah, that's exciting, right? <laughs> if you know me at all or watch my channel, you, you know my feelings about all this. This is a Victoria's Secret swim bikini. I think I got the whole thing. This is the top. Um, it's orange, corally, peach. It's a size 34 double D. And it is very padded. Like, extremely. So whatever. I guess I'll get the bottom out when it comes to it. Um, I'm I'll probably will sell the set together. I think this will do well. I don't wear padded anything because I don't care, but I feel like the pad, the more padded it is, the better it sells. This is kind of like, ugh, I didn't really want to buy it because it's Playboy and that's disgusting to me, but <laughs> it's selling really well right now. I was shopping with my nephew for something and it was like a couple of stores you went into like that logo is like around so i still got it um if it was like actually showing naked women i would not get it but it's a size 42d which is also a great size so i think this will sell well i have no idea about comps i'll have to look them up Oh, actually, this was one men's thing, so I was going to ask my brother if he wanted it. It's a vintage Eddie Bauer, like, windbreaker jacket. The size is cut out, so I'm not sure. Maybe a large or extra large, but it's kind of got this cool, like, snap pocket. So, I don't know. It was in really good condition, so I thought I would try that. I have a hard time sometimes when I'm not finding a lot of good things. It's tempting just to pick up some stuff just to get stuff, but I've really been trying to just, like, only get stuff that I know will do good. Wow, this is a good surprise. <laughs> I was getting out my next thing and there's a little tag down here with a button, which means most likely it wasn't worn, but maybe it was. I'll still have to list it probably pre-owned. I don't know. Anyway, it's Garnet Hill size 10. This is like a black um, open coat jacket. Also, did I like not finish my story a minute ago? I like this. What I was saying is I've been trying really hard not to just pick up things just to pick up things to get stuff. Because I have time, usually I am a little busier right now, but I have time where I can be getting good inventory. So I don't want to just like get random stuff that I'm not excited about. This was another item that I don't really know the brand, but it was new with tags and it was plus size and it was animal print. So it's a size 18. It's this animal print like v-neck short sleeve dress. So I thought somebody's going to like that. I'll have to look up comps and see what it's worth. This was another bra I got. This is a Victoria's Secret t-shirt lightly lined demi, which it will say that up here. And it's a size 38C, so a little bit bigger 
And it's just a really cute style, I thought, with the kind of like multicolor bands at the bottom. Okay, and now let's get into this big bag. So that was all from the first store I went to, I think, yes. And this was the second store. The first store I spent 82, but some of that was Christmas ornaments. The second store I spent 68. So, where's the bottom to that swimsuit? I wonder if it fell out or is in my car. The peach one. Here's another swimsuit I got. This one is also Victoria's Secret. Gosh, I'm not showing it. I was trying to look at the size. It's a size 34 double D. So this is the top. It's kind of a cute like paisley print with a little like scallop details. And then this is the bottom. The bottom is a size small. So that's what that looks like. And here's the back. I'm trying to pick up swimsuits right now. I feel like it's the perfect time to be selling them. I feel like once it gets to like end of June or middle of summer, it's like I don't, they don't sell as good for me. So prime time right now. This is Kate Spade Extra Large. Just a cute little graphic t-shirt with like a martini glass and some lips. Probably will only sell around 20 or 25, but I liked it. Oh, here's the bottom to that one swimsuit. So there's that. Okay, these are a pair of Lafayette 148 New York, size 10 pants. I'm probably going to send these into the real real. They don't sell for a ton, but they will sell quickly and I have to do zero work. So, yes, that's most likely what I'm doing with those. So let me make a separate pile for the real real. If you are liking this video, I encourage you to hit that thumbs up button down below for me. It does help my channel. My next goal is 600 subscribers. I think I'm around 520. Um, these are a pair of Fabletics pants or leggings. So that's the Fabletics logo. They have a rip tag. It's usually out. Um, these ones are kind of like, they have like this perforated on the top. And they also have it down all the way down here and a zipper detail. So they're really cute. Looking at them, I would guess a smaller medium. And they're definitely high rise. Um, our Goodwill used to do half off color tags and 99 cent color tags. And now they have switched it to only a half off color tag. I don't know why they did that. I feel like they would get rid of a lot of old inventory when they did the 99 cents. So who knows what's going on? Maybe more stuff's going to our bins. I don't go to our bins in Omaha. I went once and it sucked. I feel like I would want to try it like possibly again now that they changed this, but I don't know. Maybe a day when I have like nothing going on. Anyway, I like these. Our Thrift Worlds, however, which is another um, like chain of thrift stores we have around here, they always have a half off color and then they always have a 98 cent color. But then on Sunday, before they get rid of a color, they will move it down to 48 cents. So then it can be really good. But thrift worlds tend to be more expensive than the Goodwill sometimes, but I still go sometimes. Here's another Lafayette 148 New York. These are jeans, these are size 10. These are going to thread up, I mean, the real real. Also, whoever suggested to make a different email so I can get more thread up labels, thank you, because I did that and now I'm sending stuff in there again. <laughs> so I'm like, come on, who knows how long they were gonna take for the other one. Here's another one, Lafayette 148 New York, tan jacket, very wrinkly, sending it to the real real. This is a pair, and I realized I did my Instagram stories, my normal polls, and in my stories, I just like pulled down this tag. Okay, Lululemon. And then I realized when I put my poll yes or no, it like covered up the tag and tons of people were saying no. I'm like, okay, if they knew what it was, they probably would have said yes. Okay, these were on the new rack. So I was very excited to find those, especially with how my day was going. Um, it looks like it has a little logo up here. And I don't know what style they are. If you know anything about Lululemon, let me know. I'm trying to see if there was anything down in the bottom, on the back. There is something interesting. There's some snaps down here. Like, I've never seen that. Do they like snap up? Hmm. You guys know anything about these pants? If you do, like, let me know because this is very interesting to me. Here's the size dot. Oh, they're a size 32, which means they must be men's. Yeah, right? Is this normal? <laughs> Is this new or what? Okay, so they're a size 32 and there's a whole bunch of things around them. Um, if you know anything about reading these numbers, tell me. I feel like I remember because I've done it before, but there's like tons of different letters and numbers. 
Okay, so they're probably men's, I guess. Oh, guess I'll have to do some research on those. Okay. Interesting. Uh, this is a pair of jeans. These are American Eagle. I hardly ever get the older label like this, but these are the high rise jeggings. They're in a size 12, which is a bigger size, and they're really nicely distressed. So I think somebody will still like these um, all down. Like that possibly is even more distressed than they came, but people still like those. And I think somewhere on here, so this is from 2017. American Eagle also has a little tag with a year. So if you're interested to see how old they are, so not too old. Like I said, the extreme distressing and the size um, kind of helped me make a decision as to getting a little bit older because usually I will just get them if there's a newer table. This is a vintage leather coat, Berman's size 14 made in Korea, but I had to get it. It's like fringe zip up leather jacket. Yes, I don't know what I'm gonna price it at. It goes down the sleeve too. That's cool, right? All right, we're almost done. This is a Torrid. This is a faux leather jacket, size 2X. This was half off of 549, so that's great. Nice zip up faux leather like bomber jacket or moto jacket. I have another bra. It's like a red color with this little gold, I don't even know what you call that there. And this one is the plunge style 36C. And I think someone told me plunge no longer is made. So people really are in the lookout for it. This also has a pretty good amount of padding. So I think that will do good around 20 or 25. And the last thing I got was this Roar shirt, which is sold at the buckle. I don't know if it's sold anywhere else. It's a size large, small stretch. And it's new with tags. And believe it or not, this sleeveless tank top costs $70. <laughs> so it's just this blue, like blinged out, speckled sleeveless top. So I'll have to look up and find the name of it and see what comps go for. But if I can get 30 or so, that would be great. So that's everything I got. Like I said, not amazing, not horrible. Um, let me know kind of how the thrift has been for you lately, what you've been finding. I guess I did have that super good trip last week with all the high end stuff. So trips like this in between are nice too. Thank you for watching. I will be back Friday with a Flippin' Friday video. Again, hit the thumbs up button if you didn't do that yet and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.